Hey everyone, so I am so excited to share this with you. It's a miraculous energy healing modality called the belief code. So you might be wondering, what is it? So, and also how does a session outline look when working with a certified belief code practitioner? Well, today I'm going to help you understand what exactly a belief code um, practitioner is and what we do and what a session may look like. So we may not always believe what we think we believe. So in fact, very often we do not. So this is because our subconscious beliefs often represent what we'd like to believe. We think we value ourselves, we think we deserve respect, and we can find many, many reasons to justify why we should. But when we look deep, deep, deep inside and at what we really feel and believe, we often find the opposite. This is why I love the Belief Code, because it is a brand new advanced healing system, and it's a way for us to get to the heart of what we're really believing about ourselves and the world. And all of this is driving our behavior and determining our results in our lives daily. Unlike other healing systems that deal with beliefs, the be the belief code is really unique, and this is why I really wanted this certification. It's claimed to be able to identify and reverse not only the unconscious negative beliefs that are holding us back, but the entire belief system that underpins them. All we need to know is what the issue is that we want to deal with and what we want to see change within our lives. That's all we need to know. And the belief code is built on the foundation of the body code. So if you've done any body code or emotion code work, this is why you're able to do the belief code. So to be able to facilitate an energy healing system, you must be carrying all three certifications that were developed by Dr. Bradley Nelson of Discover Healing. So the belief code is really an evolution of a protocol and it was called T3, which deals specifically with identifying and reversing limiting belief systems. So if you're familiar with T3, it's, it's reworked and very similar. The belief code follows the same simple process as the emotion code and body code. It uses mind mapping technology, which is amazing, to allow the subconscious to lead me as your practitioner to the belief that needs to be addressed. So it's very similar to the way that the body code is organized in the body code system if you've done any body code work. The belief code is comprised of categories and then subcategories. And then there are cascading lists of negative beliefs and positive beliefs. The result, the result of a body or of a belief code session is an efficient process of finding and simply releasing unwanted beliefs. And Dr. Nelson says he has found that the belief code's effectiveness tends to be improved if our heart wall has already been released. This can be done typically, um, a heart wall removal can be done typically in two to three sessions. The body code along with the release of a range of other imbalances or using one of the options on my heart wall removal services page, which is linked here in the description with a video and or pricing with all descriptions of services. Um, but it's really important to work on removing that heart wall as well. And there's more information below on that. Our conscious beliefs, let's come back to the belief code. Our conscious, our beliefs are things that we want to believe and have control over. However, sometimes our subconscious beliefs, they don't allow or align with those desired thoughts. So for example, we might be working on really truly valuing ourselves more. And you may look in the mirror and say, or use a mantra, I am worthy or I am enough. That's what we want to believe. 
consciously. However, when we look deep within ourselves, we might really truly find that this is really hard to accept. Um, this idea of being enough. And that's simply because we most likely have deep-rooted negative beliefs about ourselves. So even if we repeat positive affirmations or mantras daily and they never quite stick or um, you try to speak kindly to yourself or even um, take care of yourself, these subconscious negative beliefs can make it extremely challenging to see ourselves in a positive light. The belief code offers us a way to uproot the subconscious beliefs, freeing you from incongruous belief patterns. And then what that does in turn is it allows us to see things as they really are without all the filters of beliefs holding us back. When doing work like the belief code, you start to see a pattern of why you do the things that you do and why the belief did not allow you to attain the best version of yourself. Why? Because you were operating on outdated and unsupportive software here. Let's look at, I think it's important to look at the layers of the belief system um, within the belief code. So our core belief system can dramatically impact how we perceive every single aspect of our lives. And there are four layers of a faulty belief system, and those are addressed by working with a belief code practitioner. And what that does, it allows practic practitioners like myself systematically release unwanted negative beliefs. Your subconscious tells me this. The four layers are represented, um, they like to call it a tree analogy, which I do love and identify with. The um, first one is the faulty core identity. So a faulty core identity is the origin story of the actual belief. These beliefs often begin when we're children and um, quite possibly absorbed the ideas around us without question. We just believed it. These become associated with our identity so closely that they are a lot of times unrecognizable to us. The second one is the faulty core belief. So when a negative belief is reinforced and supported by other emotions, that belief begins to grow and even become additional beliefs at times. It can spread and compound upon itself, becoming a massively tangled web of roots that become our belief system. The next one, the third, is limiting belief. So when you ask why the belief system exists, you will find the limiting belief at the center, the core of it. This belief is likely something you believe about yourself and about the world. You might have no idea that thought was lingering in your subconscious mind. A lot of times you don't have awareness of this. The fourth one is negative program. And negative programs are the result of the full, of, of the entirety of the system, producing negative automatic thoughts like that. They just come. They are the easiest part of the faulty belief system to perceive and can be recognized as negative self-talk, negative self-talk and negative chatter within the mind. Um, that resonates highly with me because I've done a lot of work around this and the belief code was really amazing to start transforming that. This system is applied in conjunction with your subconscious um, mind using mind mapping technology to allow the subconscious to lead me as your pr practitioner to the belief that needs to be addressed. So your subconscious will tell me what needs to be addressed and what is the highest priority. It's incredible too how accurate this is and when working with men and women around the world, how sometimes I know absolutely nothing about them and a certain time and event is brought up and we address the energy and sometimes the trauma around it. It's fascinating when you surrogate into someone's subconscious of what it will tell you and lead you to what needs to be addressed. There is no way that I would know this, but your subconscious, as I mentioned prior, is leading me the entire time. The belief code is comprised also, when me as your practitioner is, practitioner is working with you, it's comprised of seven categories with subcategories underneath, and then there are cascading lists of 
all of your negative and all of your positive beliefs. This results in an incredibly efficient process of finding really quickly and releasing the unwanted beliefs. So the categories that I'm guided to are one of them is divine, and then there will be cascading information, positive and negative underneath, communication, insight, power, love, passion, and then the seventh one is survival. And um, I think it's so important to look at this as a whole and understand if you really truly want to free your mind, your body, your spirit from beliefs that have been holding you back, or maybe even what about seeing yourself and the world around you in an entirely new light? I invite you to release the belief systems that your body held onto long after your mind potentially has let them go. Reprogram your mind today and really dramatically change your outlook on life. If you don't like what you see currently, perhaps the belief code is just what you need in order to break through to create space for new, updated, empowering beliefs. It's important to note as well that belief systems may be made of negative programs, limiting beliefs, faulty core beliefs. A lot of times I see broadcast messages, I'll see images, I'll see trapped or I'll, I'll uh, muscle test you for trapped emotions and so much more. So as your facilitator, I use muscle testing and I specifically ask your subconscious mind yes or no questions to determine what may be holding you back from aligning, aligning with your highest self or achieving the goals and dreams within your life. I invite you today to release the faulty beliefs that keep you from the life of your dreams. All information to view all of my energy healing services, including the emotion code, body code, human design, and site K are linked within the description below. I cannot wait to work with you and your energy and to open up the space for massive healing and just reduce some of the static or the heaviness that you may feel currently. I can't stress enough how amazing the belief code work is and um, I hope I hope to connect with your energy at some point soon. If you have any other questions, you can go to my blog, angiebloom.com backslash blog. Go into the search and type in site K, belief code, emotion code, body code. You'll see a lot of articles come up, specifically ones where I've worked with addiction as well. Have a great day, you guys.